if shit were to ever hit the fan, it's going to be right now because we currently have a plan for Giganto Mafia to go crash this party between the, the Liberation Army and the League of Villains. Like, that's insane. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 5, Episodes 21 and 22. Last episode, we had the my villain academia starting we have a not a plan but a new resolve affirmation from doctor his fake name dr ujiko who told shigaraki if you can make giganto makia submit i will be de fully devoted to you and everything and we had a whole lab full of high-end nomus not normal nomus high-end nomus so i have no idea what's gonna happen i just know that we are people are telling me that season six is gonna blow my butt cheeks back and you guys i have some high expectations for you guys to say that so i am way too hyped way too eager i said we got to find out what happens in these in these next couple episodes don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are in the description down below like always if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the dapper darius much appreciated let's hop into this my hero academia season 5 episodes 21 and 22 first one is called revival party Let's do this. I bet you life was chaos immediately after Quirk started developing a popular ideology. Not suppression, but liberation. Meta powers, that's what they were called. Meta Liberation Army. Chikara? Ooh, Destro. Man, he looks he actually looks dope though, I won't lie. I didn't know it was like that. Wow. He actually had a child, and this is Redestro. In Destro's name. So Destro didn't even know he had a child. That's crazy. All right, Deka City. Wait, is this not the city that we saw Shigaraki destroy a few episodes ago? Is that slide and go? Yep. So, yeah. A hero. That's what I'm saying. Hawks was saying there are multiple heroes who are spies working for the mm, Meta Liberation Army. This is a liberated district. And everyone who's using their quirks. As this is coming out, I don't care. A mini boss. Yup. They are all dead. It actually is going to be super cool to see the League of Villains fight, but I don't want to miss anything, so I have to pause it. But it's really interesting seeing the League of, League of Villains go off and fight because normally when we see them fight, it's against our favorite characters. So we want to see them fight, but we don't want to see them win or we want to see them get beat. But here, they're going against the Liberation Army. I'm all down. You guys go ham, kill all of them. I'm just here to witness. I'm an audience member. As long as you're not killing Deku or our main people, go for it. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, is, is that what she's gonna she's gonna tell all before she dies? No. Yeah, come on. It's no more than a club. I do like his insults and stuff. And I like how it seems like they're all called Liberation Army Warriors, you know? But they're all just normal people who can use their quirk as to their freedom, you know? Train every day, repeatedly drilling. So they're like heroes, villains, except in hiding. They're just normal civilians. That's crazy. It does sound like a good headline. And where'd she go? You've been underestimating this girl. Already coming in for the kill. Oh, wow. Curious. Landmine. She can. Okay, that's really strong. 
They're not very lethal, but she makes up for it in numbers. Then we have the warriors just coming out crazy. She's going to stick them all with blood. And then this is her first time using that mask. She can easily just disguise and escape. The blood exploded. Anything she touches. Oh, wow. The oldest daughter of the Toga family. And Toga can't go anywhere. She's just blowing up everything. Because she, she could have touched this whole area. I want to know about her backstory. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I love how they have the villain cuts now instead of hero cuts. But is this the news back in the day? Okay, that is super weird. That is so weird. She, I'm assuming he died, but it looked like she cut him in the neck. And she's sucking the blood out of his... That is very unfortunate. Yeah, society, yeah. Uh-huh. 100%. Suppressing yourself, putting on a mask. I wish I could have read all that, what she just said. That's a support... That's a dope tool to have. Our modern day holy book. What is going on in this episode? This is the craziest th episode with Toga we've ever had. Uh huh. Yes. Who are you? Whose blood are you sucking? Who are you turning? Oh, she's exploding everything. It's just different for her, you know? She turned into Ochako. She does, she did say she loves Ochako. I want to be like you too. So she can not only turn into their appearance, but she can use their quirks too. Oh, she is so... I mean, she's been good at not getting caught ever since she was a little girl. She's so slippery. And she can use Ochaku's quirk. She's starting to detransform. She has a limit on her thing. Yeah, that's what... I, she, I, she can use their quirks, too. That's insane. It's like Black Clover. When you reach a limit like that, you gotta surpass it. Go beyond plus ultra. More like what she loves. I have to assume they're all dead. That was a lot of blood. I don't know about the interviewer lady, but Toga, uh, she can use their, that's so, I want to say sick, but also scary, because how are you going to tell if it's Toga or not, if she can use their quirks too? But just the other day, when, I forget what the episode was, when it was Ashido roasting um, Ochaku about Deku, Ochako about Deku, I, she like lifted her up in like nervousness and I was like, oh, that's cute, but you could really got to be careful. You really kill someone by just accidentally bringing them too high and just releasing, you know? And that's what Toga did on fly. She literally was like, I, I love Ochako. I want, like, what the, I want to be what I love. I get where she's coming from completely when it comes to that. Like normal, I want to be normal, but my normal, not your normal. I'm going to, you know, like, it's like, I get that. Like Toga's Toga, you do you girl, power to you. Just don't hurt my, my people I love. But god damn, she literally, like, 
Oh, Chaco. Okay. I feel like I just watched Uraraka kill people. I don't know. Hey, I think if anyone's going to agree with that, Tomura, Shigaraki, Tenko, Shimura is going to agree with you. So I don't think he'll be mad. But I cannot believe she is dead. He says his memory was fragmented, right? Grandma! <laughs> Who are you talking to? Your brain? I'm rooting for you, Tenko. Oh my god. R.I.P. to this group of metahuman people. And he feels sick and he physically threw up. Yes, 100. I just thought that was a visual thing. They were just, just to mean he touched them all that fast. But no, everyone is surpassing their limits. Toga surpassing her limits. Tomura. I've never been good at not killing people. Now we have Dabby who's committed. He's like, all right, if ever we're all killing people, I'm going to kill people. You know you're confident if you're an ice user and you're attacking Dabby. You know you're confident. I control ice. He doesn't create it. Much longer than any hero. An ice dragon? That's a, he probably went straight after Jiren. He loves Jiren. Like, come on. Oh, he went to go look for Toga. Him and Toga are homies, you know. Shouts out Toga twice. Uh-oh. Do we get to see twice actually go off? Okay. Double, yep. I want to see him in action, though. Why is he only seeing himself, though? Skeptic? What the hell? Anthropomorph? He can change things that are about the same size into puppets. This is... So, what? So, they're gonna, like... So he can turn anything that's the, about the humans, about the size of a human into a puppet? All right, on to episode 32. This one's called Sad Man's Parade. I'm nervous. He said, why are your hands so cold, damn it? Because these are like desks. These are fridges, you know? E, he can literally just control them. That's crazy. He can make them into like twice. Yeah, he can fuck. Oh, my God. Yeah, for someone's mental, after already what he's gone through, this is pretty damn horrible, I can't lie. That is true. His life just kept going downhill from then. That's unfortunate, man. That's not his. I mean. So he wanted someone to talk to, so he started talking to himself. That's sad. That's crazy. Until he stabbed himself in the literal head. That was one of the craziest stories in My Hero, for sure. This is, this is when he first met. Yep. I didn't know that about the broken bone. 
This is before he joined the league. I mean, it makes sense. And then it cuts back to present, and he is, no, yes, he is not allowing this to happen twice. Please do something. Oh, that was a mean punch. Oh, my God. They are beating the shit out of him. Yeah, he knows he's the real one. Broken bones. I didn't know that. That's because he really never has truly gotten injured, you know. But now he, now he knows. It's a weird way of looking at it, but yes, I definitely, I feel him. This is where I ended up after falling, and you're not gonna fall anymore. Stop stumbling. Pick yourself back up. Two broken arms, though. <laughs> you just made like a little army of clone run. Okay, twice? Oh my, this is definitely a sad man's parade. Oh my god. So, everyone, Dabby, Toga, everyone is surpassing their limits right now. It's time for a massacre. Infinite doubles. Was it G-Ren who said that right just a second ago? If you can use your quirk right, you could take over a whole country with this quirk. Geten, the Ice Dragon Lord. This guy is super dope going against Dobby. I love that. But can Redestro move his Destro-type tattoo? Like, that's... I wonder... The ice down below is insane. This guy is insane. I want to see his face. This guy is actually so powerful. Hmm. Really? His flames are burning his own body? Alright, Ujiko's gonna help out a little bit. He's gonna say, he has gonna have all for one's voice, wake up Makio right now. Sleeping what? Nap who? No. <laughs> the way they did that was so sick. Just, doom! Just launches forward, god damn. This music right here, this song, makes me think back to season one when the Nomu comes in. Oh my god. Oh yeah. You are being very... It's amazing. You are being very dope. They most definitely were toying with twice his heart. Most definitely. Is that his quirk? He can energize. Hmm. I need to. Oh, I need to know his quirk. What is Spinner going to do? I, I want to see Spinner go ham. I haven't seen him really fight since season three. He's letting them know. You guys are copies. Go ham, though. <laughs> Repeat after me. <laughs> it should make you feel bad. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh-huh. What kind of quirk is that? I love his hand turning black as he reaches out. 
if he hits you right there, you are so dead. He could have decayed your whole body. So that's the birth of the Metal Liberation Army. Now, now is this Destro's mom or Redestro's mom? Is this, I'm curious. I get where he's coming from. I really do. Hey, so it's Destro's mom. With his blood in my veins, I am Redestro. I get where he's coming from. He has a much more of a philosophical, like deeper resolve, you know? Versus just destroying everything. Okay, he's here. His eye. Okay, okay, okay. I thought he was talking about Giganto Machia, but my eyes met his. He's talking about himself. He knew, and he took the entire tower down. Shiga Rocky. Oh my God. Oh my god, why does it have to end right there? Well, those were some crazy episodes. I can see why, again, why this is called My Villain Academy. We're getting into a lot of the mental depths of these villains, like Toga twice. I really can't wait to get into Mr. Compress, Dabby, Spinner, like everyone, really. But toga in terms of trying to grow up normal and and be who she is versus who she was meant to be is is just super crazy i completely get how the liberation army is trying to win her over based off her life experiences like saying how she wants to be normal yet her her normal just happens to be different than our normal like because of and I, I'm, I'm trying to picture what they were saying but due to her quirk and the the details surrounding her quirk she has a fascination with death and blood and it's it's very pretty and it's just it's just she just sees the world different than we do you know there are definitely people out there who see the world different you know you see one thing they see it different and she could just never be accepted into society because of that i will admit i i think as long as she didn't hurt anyone obviously like she would obviously still be deemed weird but as soon as she like injured her classmate i think killed him because she's known for a lot of murders and started sucking the blood out of his neck in the middle of the hallway i'm like okay okay you know like okay but uh, the liberation army it's like it's so interesting and their standpoint on anything like how are you going to tell uh, how are you going to regulate how we can and cannot use something that's innate to our body our personalities our well-beings our health literally how are you going to regulate when and when you can't use these and still call us free at the same time i get where they're coming from completely but damn they really have a hundred thousand plus the 90 percent of the city's population is hidden meta warriors and that geten i didn't i forgot his name the guy the ice controller guy oh my god he said i've been training with my quirk longer than any of you heroes longer than any of you villains longer than school you know like like he's like god damn he's like one of those electricians who didn't go to school or anything for it but he knows his shit like he knows his shit and then you have redestro and his whole speech on and then you have twice like so many backstories and so many deep dives into these the mentals of these characters you know like i loved how twice said he was scared to get hurt for the longest due to him having this back of the mind feel like he's not the real one and him breaking his arms and then putting his friends lives on the line were the things that made him like realize accept his current situation and then go past it and his oh my god just creating non-stop clone non-stop go 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 and his backstory was super tragic about accidentally hitting someone when he was 16 and it just literally stumbling stumbling ruining his life from there super sad 
and then you have Destro and Redestro. I need to know his quirk. He can anything his, the blackness touches, he like expands and turns super strong. I'm so curious about everything. Like those are some crazy episodes. Giganto Machia is coming as well. I right, this shit is just crazy, man. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. Follow all the social medias, of course. Don't forget to drink some water. Be safe out there. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.